now let's go to nifty so i'll not go into much detail if you're interested you can click on this link over here uh, there's a big blog on you know there's a history of nifty and then uh, it's it's very well written so you can go through this but what i will tell you is what basically i think is important so nifty has two things it has what is called as a nifty header and the image so the header as the information of orientation the space the size of the image and let me go to matlab so we we, we have seen nifty read we have seen nifty read now there's another function so nifty read just shows you the second part which is the image nifty read shows you the image you can also see the header using what is called as nifty info so nifty info will give you the header let me just execute that okay again that's a structure variable it's a structure variable and and this is small okay what i can do is okay so here we have the nifty info it has these things so you can see uh, it has the file name when it was modified what is the size version raw etc these things are okay but an important thing is this transform so let me just give you an example for that so i'll just use another thing called fsl this is good to actually visualize images okay so here i have loaded one of the subjects image okay uh, notice there are two things over here one is what is called as the voxel location this is the actual location of the voxel so when you load this in matlab when you lo load this image in matlab and you know you type something like so i have that image in subject and if i type subject 1 comma 2 comma 3 something like that so the location so this is the voxel location that i'm typing and the output that i get is the pixel or the voxel intensity at that particular location so this is what is the voxel coordinates and those are here the voxel location or the voxel coordinates but there is something else as well so there is this which is the mni coordinates or uh, this is the space that i was talking earlier Talk, talking about earlier so it's the mni space on which it's a it's a standard space where all the brain is mapped so every voxel in the mni space is labeled so let's say if i want to go to corpus callosum i know that these voxels so these voxels corresponding to the uh, these mni coordinates correspond uh, the location corresponding to these coordinates uh is the location for corpus callosum uh if i want to go to the cerebellum so these are the mni coordinates for cerebellum and so on because all the brain images are aligned over here so it's easier to work in this space because i exactly know which region i am pointing out uh, when i am in mni space so that transform thing that you saw this transform is basically a matrix and this matrix is used to transform the voxel coordinates to the mni coordinates now why is this useful this is useful if you have images of different size but in the same space so now this is the standard mni template this is how mni template looks like uh, it's actually created using an average of 152 uh, subjects mri images so they also probably uh, wrote a code like this to create an average i don't think in matlab but somewhere 
and that's how they got the average and that's how they've said okay this is a standard template uh, called MNI template and notice that the the voxel coordinates for let me reduce the opacity so so you can see both of these are perfectly aligned the brains are perfectly aligned that's because I've done that I've, I've so there's something called normalization in a toolbox called SPM uh, using which you can do this and you can see that the voxel coordinates for the two are different so when I when I have my cross uh, cross over here for the MNI template the voxel coordinates is 45 33 41 but then for the image it is 30 22 27 so these are two different images but because I have that transform so this FSL software is built such that it reads the transform and then aligns the image according to that transform matrix so that both of them have shared the same MNI coordinates or share the same space.